Rick Ross come up with this song, I think I'm Big Meats and I think I'm Larry Hoover. And that that made me reflect back to it, to be honest with you. Like, right. wow, you know. But when they when he did it, it was not in a, like, it was a thing of braggadocious, hey, man, you know what I'm saying? This is something I represent, and this is about the streets is the way yeah. I seen it. I think I'm Big Meats. Huh? How was how did you how did you deal with that when it first happened? Because you now just hear your father's name broadcast like that. Right. What what did you think? Where were your what was your mindset? And where were you when you first heard the song? Did you know about the song coming out before it actually hit the waves? No, no, I didn't. We we were they didn't reach out to us before they did the song. I think my my son might have <laughs> told me about the song because he was a little guy and he could he heard his name. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. I, I think like 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 when you think about him, the way that the people, uh, the young people, everybody knew about him. You know what I mean? For us, it was even uh, years back when things might have seemed to be somewhat going doormat. Rick Ross come up with this song. I think I'm Big Meats, and I think I'm Larry Hoover. I think I'm Big Meats. Huh? And that that made me reflect back to it, to be honest with you. Like, right. wow, you know. But when they when he did it, it was not in a like it was a thing of braggadocious. Hey, man, you know what I'm saying? This is something I represent, and this is about the streets, is the way yeah. I seen it. Larry Hoover, whipping, hallelujah, one nation. How was how did you how did you deal with that when it first happened? Because you now just hear your father's name broadcast like that. Right. What what did you think? Where were your what was your mindset? And where were you when you first heard the song? Did you know about the song coming out before it actually hit the waves? No, no, I didn't. We we were they didn't reach out to us before they did the song. I think my my son might have <laughs> told me about the song because he was a little guy and he could he heard his name. Cause he's named after me, so right. he like they say my name. They say my name, <laughs> you know, and you know I just listened to it. But um, when the song was released, see a lot of people don't really know about my father. They know about the legend of Larry Hoover. Mm -hmm. You know the legend that grew through the media and some of the people in the streets. So for them to speak on the legend of Larry Hoover and not Larry Hoover, a man who's still alive, a man that's fighting for his life. You know it. You know, I mean, it's a rough situation. He, he's if he's fighting for his life, and you referring to him as a person that that's dead. If he was dead, or you know, had just a life sentence, and there was no more fight to be there. I mean, I guess you could say whatever. But for somebody that's actually alive and still fighting and trying to come home, and to you know, glorify him as. King Drug Lord, you know what I mean? That ain't that that wasn't really a good thing. I mean, we we done and passed that at this point it did, like you say, put his name back out there in the world. So I could appreciate that. It just wasn't the best light to put his name it out right. there. It wasn't the best light to put it in, uh especially with you guys trying to figure out ways to show people who he is now, right? Well, even even then, he had had the federal case at that point in time. Like, the, the positive things that he was doing in the community, like trying to awake the sleeping giant, trying to get youth to vote, trying to, um, you know, the guys that caught rapists in the community, mm -hmm. you know, marched and shut down city halls, shut down the stock market, you know what I mean? Marched to make sure that medical centers wouldn't get closed in the communities, certain schools. Like he was using the, his influence to do positive things. You know, he, he came from a background in the streets. He was poor. He grew up like a lot of other um, young black people to come in. And they grow up in impoverished communities. And what he seen for opportunity was the same thing a lot of these young men see with opportunities. But as time went on, he seen that he had influence. And he wanted to use his influence in a positive way. And he was doing that. But, you know, he gets no credit for that. He gets the credit for the part where he tore down some of his community, which he's guilty of some of that. But he also was trying to make changes and do a lot of things for the better of his community. But, you know, in life, the way how reality is, it's 
you could do a million good things, but just do one bad thing, yeah. and it's like they can never forget that, or they can never forget. It's like it outweighs all the good you've done. Yeah, like I, I never say that my father wasn't on, um, you know, a criminal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? But he was, he 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 was making changes and he was doing positive things. But they don't want to give him credit for that. They just want to get a credit for the legend Larry Hoover who had a big gang organization, mm -hmm. not the Larry Hoover who seen that he had a big organization and he, like, man, this is voters. Man, if I could stop these kids from killing each other, it could be a better place. Mm -hmm. Man, I can get these guys to come together and just, you know, make peace. And he was doing that. Mm -hmm. And people remember that. But, you know, in their mind, they want to sell it as a, a plot that just had the biggest gang and the I don't know, take over the city or something, take over the world. I don't know what they was thinking. That's ridiculous. Did you, um, like, you did see Rick Ross after that or talk or did y'all ever come to a, hey, man, you know, it, it wasn't meant that way? Because that's probably what I would have said. Like, I didn't mean it that way. You, you know what? I, I know that he was trying to, um, he was trying to honor him. We honor him. We actually got to talk and everything was, yeah, everything. It was yeah, like we, I was trying to up, honor it. Yeah, we came up with an understanding. Yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.